Hello family and thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 48 Square hosting with the family affair. Hopefully you all are enjoying y'all Saturday afternoon which is April 4th 2020 at 12 17 Eastern Standard Time in my time zone which is Atlanta Georgia okay where I reside. Okay we or I was asked to try to find some information out on Miss Kenya Moore. And I say Miss because she's not Mrs. Thank you for the Jasmine brand for me utilizing this little photo. Okay, go over to her channel, visit her. She brings out some salacious stories and informative information all the time she posts. Okay, so go and represent her over there and see what she got to offer. But getting back to Kenya Moore, I was asked by one of my family members on YouTube to try and go and see if I can research or look for a picture that Kenya Moore was holding up of a possible marriage license. Honey, I searched high, low, low and high, between sheets and everything else. I couldn't find anything. Only thing I did find was a lot of manipulation, a lot of lies Kenya has posed about her marriage, her relationships with other men trying to become married, and this, that, and the third. But I did not find a marriage certificate license, nor will I probably ever find it. All right? And we will never probably find any filing of a divorce because, again, you would have had to be married in order to get a divorce, okay? Unless you were doing one of those silver unions, which they kind of outlawed that. That's common law marriage. And it just is what it is. So, Mary, so I couldn't find it, baby. But if you ever find it in your pursuits of um, knowledge, then let a sister know. Because I sure would bring it out and put it on the show, okay? But I want to give out some special thank yous to Leslie Barber. Uh, she was explaining in the comments down there, false advertising to wear wigs, pieces, etc. And I'm, I'm with you. I concur totally fully. If you have a hair care line and it's supposed to be preaching more so, or uh, giving public information for the consumer of your products. If you're, uh, being a spokesperson of, um, natural hair products, grow your own hair naturally so you don't have to use protective stylings or you don't have to use wigs extensions um pieces or anything of that nature just wear your own let your own flow and tresses flow so yes i found that very fraudulently uh fake foolery fuckery fraudulently activity that kenya was putting out there uh when she's promoting one thing but doing another thing okay i like be be for your stuff, can you? Be for your products. Be for your brand. All right. That's just like me saying I'm out there selling um, how you can make your teeth just white as all can be. And then I'm sitting up here wearing dentures. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying like come on now come on now so it just is what it is but what I'm saying is Leslie Barber thank you for coming over to the house bringing that information to fruition and uh, bringing it to the forefront that yes Kenya does not preach uh, does not follow what she does preach okay she is more so uh, the father or the grandmother of lies okay but anyway we move on from there Juliet Alfred thank you for coming back I uh, haven't seen you a while over at the family house, but thank you. And you're right, Eva, buy a fact check before you open the gate of lies. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Eva, 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 we need to tag her as Ligate Eva or Gate of Lies Eva Marcel. Okay, because that's all she pretty much spits out and then have amnesia on the other fact. When people come for her. Such as Candy did. Very well. And she tried to make Candy seem like she was lying. But we know. Kenya. I mean Candy is some of everything. But not so much of a liar. Okay. We haven't really caught her in uh, lies. Special K Mills 1. Thank you so much love for dropping by. And telling me that I was doing an article. Or I was doing commentary on Nene and Kenya. And Kenya want to be like uh, Nene's friend. Ex-friend. Um. 
Kim Zosia. Sweetie. Yes, that was the name. Thank you for putting it into my comment section. I should say our comment section to get me on the I would call her queen or something like that. I think I would. <laughs> but thank you. You are absolutely right. Her name was Sweetie. Okay. Sweetie the maid. Sweetie the do girl. She didn't even quite understand that she was being used by Kim Zosia. But it is what it is. Maybe she was getting paid real well. She, so, so she didn't really care what we were thinking. Her pockets was being lined. Okay. And that's a real OG if that in fact was actually happening. But if not, she just taking meager money. No, baby. No. I would have been getting back with Kim. I mean, Kim, uh, Kim all the way every day. Okay. Uh, then we had my darling, PM Patricia Kaysen. Check us out. She, um... She said, um, no, okay, well, maybe that was wrong. I was saying Marisol, so it was PM Patricia Kaysen wanted me to check the story out about Kenya Morris in the last two weeks holding up a wedding certificate. Like I said, I tried, so this video is mostly for you, PM Patricia Kaysen. Okay, I kind of got y'all confused, but forgive me, Marisol, okay? Uh, it was PM Patricia Kaysen wanted me to check out whether I could find something on Kenya. Now, Kenya's supposed to be trying to call herself uh dating this married man who's a little african running around that had money and kenya was dating a married man okay but she was telling other people well that was nini talking about keep your uh, legs close to married man was she talking to kenya at the time hell she probably wouldn't know she was talking to kim zozi at the time i believe but yeah kenya uh kenya was supposedly allegedly dating a uh, married man as well uh and that it don't stop there because she does fool with a man when it was called um some show match millionaire maker or something like that she was messing with a man that had already got married i told you she is a delisted actress she really is because whatever she puts together it doesn't come out how it's supposed to come out she don't never deliver even like in this little thing where she drops down tea she had some unwanted guests on her property and uh she went and had a gun like she really was gonna use it okay i'm like can you come on now baby come on you are the uh princess of lies and it just keeps going on and on just like the story you have with mark daly trying to say he's your husband but yet no big time blogger that was more than likely willing to find out whether or not you were married or not nobody could find it out there nobody no marriage certificate hell i don't even know if it's a um birth certificate of brooklyn you know what i'm saying and then you want us to believe you may be getting a divorce hmm okay we're not with you on that one can you but it just is what it is but um yeah, I could not find anything on her. She And she probably bought all those rings she was sporting around. Kind of say she was uh, married and this, that, and third. And he looking at her like, I ain't buying you no ring. That's not coming out of my pocket or contractual agreement we made together. You got to buy your own ring, your own dress. You got to front the wedding, this, that, and the third. And she went along with it and paid off his debt, allegedly, for his back taxes. Okay? But anyway, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... I wonder what's this PM Patricia Kaysen also. I read that article uh, from MB, well, CNBC.com uh, regarding Putin uh, seeking to create a new world order and installize or institutionalize their um, reign of terror they want to promote, uh, being the world leaders instead of North America. Uh, and it has something to do with coronavirus and crisis report claims being you know blown out of proportion this that and the third and um i found that very interesting so anybody want to go over there and see what we're really talking about go to cnbc.com and just put in putin see seeking to create new world order and it should pop up for you but i found it very interesting because i'm like mm, if iran russia and china got together honey north america ain't got a chance <laughs> I'm just telling y'all. And we may be already overthrown. We may think North America runs stuff. But in actuality, if we wake up one day and we found that Iran, Russia, and China is the new leaders of our uh, world order, child, we in trouble. It's always been praying time, but good Lord, get your, your armor out, all your spiritual warfare stuff out to fight against. Get your guns, get your bunkers, all that stuff gonna come. All of that stuff is gonna come. But like I said, I couldn't find any receipts on Miss Kenya Moore and her trying to be married. But thank you for all of that information, my love. PM Patricia 
Patricia Case and keep coming by. Girl, I'm going to have to call you PPC. Okay, PPC is in the house trying to inform us of a lot of things as well as, you know, entertainment news. And then she gets real deep and gets spiritual with us. And then she gets another third play by telling us about the world events. So if y'all don't get into my commentary, definitely get into her uh, commentary that she puts out there because she lists it all for you all to take part of and get some edification. Okay, she's real good. I'm glad she's on my team. All right. Uh, then I want to say hello to uh, Perlene Watson. She came in and said all in Nene's head. And I said I concur. Nene's going to always put herself on top. And I guess if you don't, you got to feel good about yourself and make sure you're a forefronter, forerunner out there in case anybody else don't think so. You know what I'm saying? So I guess you always have to up yourself because ain't nobody else going to up you no better than what you can do yourself. But yeah, I concur. It's all in Nene's head. Uh, Annie Gonnott, uh, she says Eva knows she's boring. Lord knows, everybody knows. If she don't know, she need to buy a clue. Play, play the game clue and get a clue, Eva. You're boring as hell. So if you can, like I said, stay one season without being pregnant and come with the stuff, I may have a change of mind. But other than that, you're boring as hell. Okay. Then we got Octavia Mathis stop by. Thank you, love, for stopping by. Uh, thank you for loving on me and my commentary and I'm loving on you by putting by you coming to the house putting your comments down and watching my commentary and finding it pretty amusing if not informative <laughs> but thank you for coming by Octavia love I always drop by then we got uh, Miss Regina Washington thank you for stopping by we got Leah Thomas uh, she said cuteness thinness definitely don't have kids with a man who don't respect you and definitely don't like you really <laughs> okay and I can definitely occur cuteness and then it's only going to get you so far. But then it don't get you anywhere if you're especially messing with a man or woman. However you get down. And they still feeling themselves. Meaning they still want to be out there chasing that choo-choo train or ratchetness. And want to fool around and lie about what they're doing and creeping around. Then, you know, it doesn't matter. You could be the picture perfect woman or man. And if somebody really don't want you and they still want to play on you and lie to you and cheat on you and all this kind of stuff, then have more respect for yourself and leave that individual alone. Because you set the tone for allowing these people to do things to you of that nature. If you want to keep taking the negativity that they bring you and disrespect, that's what they're going to keep on doing. You halt their behinds and they, and they tracks and say no more. If you do it another time you're gone or you could just specifically say i've taken enough you're gone you know everybody can be dismissed okay but uh yes i definitely concur with you all of that positiveness and not no inwardness will just be total chaotic and it's not going to work out for you or anybody else dealing with you okay uh dolly seaford thank you for stopping by baby i do believe nini is bleaching her skin because if you go back in past uh pictures of her as how she came on on the show in 2008 to up to this point she definitely has lightened up i don't know if it's bleaching or chemical bleaching or it's more so wearing lighter makeup it could be a combination of both but yes yeah, she definitely has gotten lighter over the time and that's one thing we don't do we don't get lighter we get darker but we don't get lighter okay um marisol said something about uh, <laughs> she won't even to go back to the west coast i'm like honey she never really solidified herself here in atlanta she's not a true peach so even gonna do what she want to do say what she want to say but we already know she ain't down here with us she ain't with the dirty south because honey she got with the right person well she with the right person she fussed with nene least nene will take care of her in her due time anytime she feels like she want to get on her social media platform and run her in the ground she would do so with justice okay because the stuff that he will be talking about i'll be like girl hush okay hush you're not analytically right you're not politically right and you're not emotionally right so shut up sit back and just be look pretty do like cynthia over there don't speak unless you're spoken to because the shit that be coming out your mouth, you ain't ready to back it up. I mean, it's just like you barking, 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 barking. And once the, the big, um, what do you call it, damnation come in, you know, or the Rottweiler come in, however you view Nene, you know, you just uh, looking all crazy. Ain't saying nothing. <laughs> so I'm like, girl, Nene did bring you on the show. At least you can be a little humble, okay? 
and go after her when she really come after you. Now, her just saying you were boring, this, that, and the third. You could have came back and said, well, what are you, Nene? Words will never hurt me, baby. But what are you doing, okay? You, you, you could have did a little bit more than try to tell her she had a big, wide neck and all this kind of stuff. That's just kind of grammar school when you try to look for people's imperfections, okay? Because Nene didn't say you were ugly. She didn't say you were fat. She didn't say you weren't cute or any of that matter. She just said you were boring. <laughs> and that's all you want to do is have babies on the show you don't want to come with any type of inside scoop of what's going on with you and michael over there in the sterling house you know like everything's peachy cream because we know i don't care if you were a boyfriend or girlfriend y'all gonna have ups and downs y'all gonna be fussing about some silly stuff or some serious stuff but there's gonna be some drama here and there as long as y'all go through y'all relationship to death do you part okay so you say, oh, I have a, a beautiful husband. This and there. Yeah, he could be beautiful in spirit, but what is he doing? That's getting on your nerves on the daily. Okay, is he taking out his sheets? Is he not uh, letting the toilet seat down? Is he not cleaning up after himself? He's doing some shit that I know ir irritates you. So that's what we need to know. Okay, Eva, how oh, you living in a bubble world and it will get busted. Okay. And on behalf of Nene Leaks, I'm pretty sure. But, um, y'all, that's all I had. And, you know, like I said, Kenya's not, you know, you can believe what you want to believe. But, like I said, you got your own eyes, you got your own ears. And you got common sense. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt for the ones that's sitting way, way in the back and not being attentive. Okay? But, yeah, you got common sense. So, look and see what Kenya do on the, you know, on the screen. She's not acting. You know, because Candy said that before. We're not acting. We may have to talk about certain things we don't want to talk about and bring a little drama to it. But, action, in actuality, you are seeing that real person on uh, the screen so everybody's saying she's just trying to do this trying to do that yeah she's trying to break up bring up storylines and they're all fake and fraudulent okay and when people want to go and research and find this information not when you can't find nothing that means you're a great person and you're really up there uh with the elite and they just hide shit okay or maybe they don't want nobody to find it because they weren't ready for it to come out yet because when they get ready to bring your ass down they gonna leak some shit and it's gonna make you look real bad in the public eye but like i said you know i, I don't trust anything can you talking about uh, I don't trust anything she says because she likes tearing down people because she'll leak uh, people coming to her house trying to be on her property and she's showing herself with a gun. Wouldn't you think she would probably show you her marriage certificate because she probably framed that shit in, in big bold uh, print and hanging it on the wall for people to see and just keep you know putting it out there yeah she's married now here's the proof okay but she can't she ain't got no proof i don't think she could show us it's her wedding ring she could talk about brooklyn all the time because i do believe mark did give his sperm to her to make a baby but that's all he wanted to do it's like baby for hire uh you give me your sperm i give you some money and we keep it moving and i think that's basically what's the gist of her uh agreement with mark and to play a little bit here that he was married to her okay fine but you know kenya's crazy you know she stood up there and tried to bring out the fact on kim field's husband that he was gay she said that's what was going on out there in hollywood world when she was out there but i'm like oh, okay but you don't want nobody to talk about mark but you talking about somebody else's husband and then throwing salt on his name saying he gay when he's sitting up there ain't told you he was gay or not i mean just because he's a thespian lover meaning he's in the acting world uh and he does plays and things of that nature doesn't make him gay okay it doesn't make him gay and then you sitting up there being a video thought and music videos with jay-z and jay-z going around pushing on women and shit they caught that yeah he slapped a woman one time in the airport or something so and he didn't catch a case that's why i said you know people are being represented and and things are being hidden when they need to be because he's serving a greater purpose for the elite than we know so and it's more so to get more people to sign their sales and their souls away uh and that's what he pretty much does and then you got you know can you say she was through um black man out the um mark i mean matt, matt day matt jordan started dating this white man she gave us the assumption gave us the assumption she was dating him okay and that was false that was fraudulent as well 
you know, trying to think she in the swirl game now. No, nah, Kenya, the black race don't want you. The white race don't want you either, baby. The white race don't want you. Then you got the Africans don't even want you, okay? And he was married at the time, Kenya, when you was messing with this young man. I'm like, girl, are you kidding me? I I'm not understanding this. I'm really, really not understanding this. All right? Intelligent, beautiful, but lack compassion, empathy for others and want to be seen all the time. Uh, cause Mark did call you an attention whore. Remember, he did do that. Uh, cause that that was shared in public, uh, the public social media realm as well. So my thoughts are this: yes, it's a hoax. We're not gonna find any marriage certificate. Uh, on them because it never happened okay it just really never happened because if it did Kenya Moore would be the first one to show all type of receipts okay just like she showed all type of receipts with baby Brooklyn even though we don't really find any birth certificate there and I'm sure the bloggers that are heavy hitters out there that can afford to rummage through people's lives and pay for information this that and the third they would have got that information and they would have put it out on their platform and their uh, subscribers as well as viewership would have went up by the masses. Okay. But no, Kenya is playing a game. Yes, yeah, she want to show us 50 shades of crazy. She give it to us every time she's out there in the world. Okay. And if we can't just hear anything about her, she's always posting her daughter. Well, I should say Mark and her daughter. And he ain't too much care for that either. So, yeah. It just, kind of just really kind of amazes me what Kenya Moore would do to stay in the limelight. And how far she would go to continue to stay in the limelight. Okay. And give us all fake news, fake news, fake news on her relationship. Okay. Because she'll sit there and marry a guy. Hold on, guys. Hello? Huh? They Walmart. But they letting people stay in crowds before they let them in. Yeah, they let them in. They uh, let them in. They 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 let them in. Okay, well, let me um, finish my video and I'll get right with you. Okay. All right, bye. Okay, update, y'all. In Atlanta, Georgia. Walmart. Now, I went to Walmart yesterday. They had us going in one-way exit, one-way coming in. And they had the, these, like, cones going around. And they were trying to practice the, um, what do you call it, social distancing. But that wasn't working. I mean, come on. Ten or more people in Walmart, never heard of. But he was saying yesterday when him and his wife went out that morning that they were saying they were going to put in place in all the Walmarts. And I'm thinking globally, but it's just happening here in Atlanta where we shop, which is pretty much everywhere. We go to every damn county. We don't stay in one county and shop. But um, he was saying that the one that he stays by in Rockdale County, that's where he stays out there. Uh, there's a lot of land and nice houses and stuff of that nature but that's not a subject we're going to talk about <laughs> but he's out there and he's saying that um that walmart he goes to in his county basically they were letting 10 people in at a time they letting them in groups and i don't know how that gonna work because you know a lot walmart is a big ass store you have different departments you could shop in so what's the time limit that these people get to stay in the store before you let 10 more people in so it, it was crazy it was crazy one walmart he was telling me about didn't have i don't know what my brother doing i guess he just riding out there because he's, he's disabled he stay in the house a lot so i guess on the weekend he's just going ride and shit and i said well damn videotape it give me the footage and i'll put it on my um channel but he don't have time for that <laughs> he just sit and call me when he ride and be telling me shit just like he told me about that Joanna man i don't really like that 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 actor he was talking about i may do the story but that was last week he was telling about he had um this actor had went into the store he didn't want to stand in the line he just walked out with his groceries you know the one who played sparks and sparks back on the day when they had a sitcom and then he played in that movie Joanna man it was some marisol sent that to me i think it's named julius munez or something like that uh but yeah he was out there and then he tried to come back in and do the same thing or just maybe pay them in his defense and they just locked him up it was a citizen's arrest but they didn't take him to jail he just had to go do a fine and then he gonna go off later on and time out 
uh, maybe some weeks later that he started his own charity or he's giving money to homeless people or people that need food. I like man, I don't know. He could have just been doing it as a publicity stunt to get the word back out that you know who he is. Cause hell, I ain't thought about him. I, I ain't you know I'm not a follower of his, so it just is what it is. I don't follow him on social media. I only follow a few people. Uh, it's just a hot mess, but that's what was going on. My brother's just calling me and saying he ran up on a Walmart where they're actually doing it. They didn't go to the, I went to a Walmart yesterday. They didn't have shit. They had no toilet paper. They ain't had no paper towel. They ain't had my oatmeal. Ah, they just had a nap. It was just a hot mess. And then my mama was cutting up, acting like she had lost her mind. So I think it was just too many people in there for her. And they were wearing masks and gloves and i had her have on this n95 mask that i had a guy ain't gonna tell you where i got it from but it, you know it is what it is but you know i was telling her that's the best mask that you can possibly have out there right now other than the ones that have this like little ventilator have a little, like a little clip on it and it filters air and the good air in and the bad air out or whatever however it is but anyway she wore it while we was out shopping she didn't like it she didn't like it one bit and um you know she's like like she was just like okay where are we going now we're gonna have to pay for it now we have to pay for it in the other department it's like she had lost her mind it wasn't the same walmart that i usually take her to i had went out there with my brother's stay and uh i don't know it's just it, it freaked me out because i'm like my mom getting dementia on me right now this is not a good time you know and all this stuff and it, it just really you know took me into another space head space and i was telling my daughter Did, am i saying this right she said yeah i don't know what's wrong with mama and then her fiance said i think she's just scared so you have to be like really hand gloves with my mama now with this new way of living or this new era we're going through because she's just she's just it's on pins and needles and Oh, it's just a hot mess all the way around. But just to get back to what I was saying, you know, my brother always interrupting me when I'm doing stuff. But he was just telling me, so y'all check out y'all Walmarts if y'all do have one in the states that you live uh, living in, because they're not public. They're not publicizing this information. It's just like you're out in the street and people are telling you that have experienced it. So that's how that knowledge or that information came about. And see, that's why I don't like watching news on TV so much because it's a lot of shit that's going out there that they're not putting on the news like they need to put on the news to give us informative news that we can use okay just like i was out there i think it was a week ago or two weeks ago went to wells fargo trying to make a banking transaction and, and you know they had the doors closed what the hell going on you know what i'm saying what what, what is this what, what what's foolery going on here and i told y'all the story about it in a you know previous video and um they didn't have that shit on news that's the kind of shit we need to know we need to know because that's the that's kind of information i need to know and use okay and tell other people about it don't go to wells fargo unless you know you're gonna use the drive-through because they ain't letting you in unless you got an appointment and that's pretty much how the other banks or the ones that can that don't have a drive-in uh capacity or drive-through you have to like wait outside and they just let one person go in at one time like my bank uh first citizen here in Atlanta, it used to be Best Bank. If anybody, you know, used to be in the Kroger, Ooh, excuse me, grocery stores and things of that nature. And um, Bank of America are doing the same thing, social distancing. They're not letting, you know, uh, a couple of people go in at one time. And then when those couple of people come out, you get to go in and let another couple. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it, it's really a really strange time we're living in. But I think we're going to have to somewhat to a certain degree embrace it because uh, if not, we'll all go crazy and start uh, fighting each other in the street and, and, and shooting each other and stuff of that nature. So we got to be calm. Be calm before you go out there. Say your little prayer before you get in your car. You should be doing that anyway uh, as you go throughout your day out there with the masses because people are just crazy they're they're ill-informed they still want their life back or how it once was they're not embracing the new change they're not protecting themselves they're not wearing masks they're not wearing gloves especially for the ones that do and can get those items you know i know the ones some people can't get them because they're being like kind of set aside for the healthcare workers and whatnot but you still can go online because my brother and his wife uh they order some masks offline ain't coming until may sometime but you still can actually buy them so i en encourage uh everyone to get some masks or, or make get some material go to the fabric store and make you a mask yourself if you're uh capable of doing uh do-it-yourself type um um can't even think of the word you want to participate in doing DUI DUI law uh, do-it-yourself type of projects you know 
Uh, I'm sure there's a video out there on YouTube that can tell you how to make your own mask or whatever. Get into it and protect yourselves and try to order some Pareil. Uh, they say Pareil, and we use it at my job, Pareil uh, disinfectant or hand sanitizer. They sell it kills it on the spot. And I don't know because I ain't, you know, used to using all this hand sanitizer. I'm good at washing my hands on both sides, the palms as well as the back side. And sometimes I even go up a little up on my arm, you know what I'm saying, in case I'm jumped up there. I need to, you know, to take care of them get home take a wash up or take a bath or whatnot a shower uh, but it's serious now it's my daughter calling me oh my god hello okay bye okay she's just telling me she's on her way home okay i'm the information one stop person everybody needs to let me know but i guess if they didn't they know i'd be on their asses okay so i guess it is it is what it is but um that's pretty much all for this video um Kenya is still fake fraudulent foolery fuckery going on in my mind. That's how I'm going to keep her until I can see other evidence being presented to me. Concrete, solidified, truthful evidence that she has. Her husband, his name is Mark Daly, and you can show me a marriage certificate, okay? Uh, or a divorce decree if one ever happens, which I don't think is going to happen because they never got married. And uh, all the information as far as what's going on in the world today with the coronavirus. Take it serious, guys, because I do know a few people that have come to me that I deem as good people, uh, credible people. They expressed to me that they have lost some people uh, in this fighting battle with coronavirus. So don't, don't be taking it serious that, oh, I got to go outside. I got to do it. No, do you got to die? Only thing I know is death is true. Don't make it quick than the time that you were supposed to leave this earth. Don't brush up nothing. Ta paying taxes, yes, you're going to have to do that. So death and paying taxes are definitely certain, okay? But don't go out there and speed up the uh, time frame of when, you know, you're supposed to be dead and you, you go and try to, you know, handle that death a couple of days earlier. You know what I'm saying? It's no sense to that. So follow protocol. Follow your rules and regulations of what your state says about following curfew. Do what you're supposed to do. Think about somebody other than yourselves. Okay, if you got people living with you or you're taking care of people. Uh, and, and think as one in these days and times. Okay, but I'll um, pray for all of my uh, people on YouTube, my, my um, family members. I will always keep y'all in prayer. Uh, Anna Banana, where you at, girl? You know you need to be checking in with me. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a depressant person, too. Uh, I have very high anxiety and this, things of that nature. So, I need to know where you at, girl. So, you can stay in, the, in, in you know, in contact with people, okay? Um, you need to do that for me. I need to hear from you. If it ain't number, hey, Dale, how you doing? I'm doing fine. And you're going about your day. But uh, we as family, we need to continue to pray for one another. Whether we like what we say to each other on you know this youtube format when it comes to different subject matters that has nothing to do with real life okay uh but take care of each other be nice to each other pray for each other in the in the best way okay not somebody's downfall so let me be very clear on that okay because whatever you do in the dark will come to light and when you wish evil on somebody and um uh, their downfall think about it. karma is a bitch and she's a woman she will come back and bite you in the ass okay may not affect you but it may affect someone you do love but uh all in truth y'all be blessed i will see y'all next video bye bye or see you later i should say and share and like and subscribe to the channel while we got a channel because <laughs> before it's over with we might not have a channel okay but no deb loved y'all to the core and always remember me in good thoughts all right peace and blessings see you later